Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we had managed to rally pretty much everybody we had ever come in contact with in some meaningful way. Uh, and it's the dead of night, and we've agreed to attack the Armada in the morning. So, let's go have a little look around. Belzia has informed us that she's leaving. She's disappeared in the, for some reason, <laughs> running away from the most important battle in history uh, but she has told us that Fina and Ika are not doing too, too well so let's go find those two doesn't look like there's anyone here well it's a little late maybe I should look around a bit more well, that's the whole point well I know one of the girls is down here doesn't look like there's anyone here what do you mean at least I thought one of the girls was down there. Maybe she's not. Uh, I don't think Fina's up around here somewhere. I literally... Oh no, there's Fina. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. I thought she was down in the dock. Fina. Hey. Can't sleep? I try to, but... I couldn't stop thinking about Ramrez. I grew up with him my whole life. We were always together. We were best friends. It's... It's hard to think that now I'm going to have to fight him and one of us will die tomorrow. As a Silvite, it is my duty, but... Bina. Please, I have... I have one thing to ask of you. Please stay by my side. If you're at my side tomorrow, uh, if you're at my side during tomorrow's battle, I'll know I'll be able to fight him. You're a great leader. I know you will inspire me. Say comforting words or say nothing and just put your arm around her. That's what we'll do. Days. Thank you. Feel better now? Yes, having you here means a lot to me. Can we stay like this a little longer? I don't go getting any funny ideas. There's only one girl here for FaZe. At least, that's the way I've always thought about it anyway. Right, let's go and find... Ica. I think she's up here in the command room. Yeah, must be, because it's letting us go up here. Gee, you'd never know this island's been blasted to hell once. They've even replaced all of the water. There she is. Hey. Hey, Ica. Oh, that's <laughs> a very <laughs> amusing position. <laughs> Oh, hey Vase. It looked like you were talking to Fina, how she's doing. She seems a little worried about tomorrow. Hmm. Fina too, huh? I don't know. I crawled into bed, but I couldn't sleep. I'm just scared. <laughs> this isn't like me, I guess. Hey, I'm scared too. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm scared too. Tomorrow is going to be our toughest battle yet. Really? I didn't think you ever got scared. Just because I've been placed in charge of tomorrow's assault and big-headed much, doesn't mean that I'm not afraid of anything anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've been through so much, I guess it's hard for me to remember you as the kid next door. That makes me feel a little better. That I'm not the only one who's scared around here. There's a lot riding on tomorrow's battle. I guess it's normal to be scared. I feel the same way. Hey, I bet Galcian is scared too. <laughs> I bet he is. I feel so much better now. Maybe I'll be able to get some sleep. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. And 
and there it is. Thanks, Vase. We're going to make history tomorrow. I love that cheeky little smile. <laughs> uh, thanks, Vase. We're going to make history tomorrow. Good night. Better not oversleep. Your dad's here, remember? <laughs> Yeah, you know she wants more than friends, boy. And you'd be stupid to say no, let's be fair. Right, let's go. Oh, this is a great morning of the greatest battle in this nation's history. But before we go doing silly things, Let's uh, blast the rest of our money, shall we? Uh, be a shame not to empty out our pockets. Hello, Vase. Can I help you? Yes, you can, actually. I want to buy. I want to buy seeds. Uh, let's go for some of these bad boys. I suppose, really. I mean, Vase is the only one that we really need to do crazy amounts of damage. Let's get 40 of these. Well, he's not, though. That's the thing. Um, Will. Do we need a bit of magic? I suppose we could get... We could boost Fina's magic up a little bit. Well, should we just go all in on damage? And maybe HP, too? We really could just go all in on health which might not be an awful idea to be honest let's do that right ah we've still got Gilda kinda don't want Gilda <laughs> right well we're not gonna give him anything um, let's exploration king bays let's have some items, shall we? So, increases max health by 30. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, so... There is a maximum amount of health they can have. I didn't know that. Well, that's interesting. And that's not a terrible way to go about it, actually. Let's get some more seeds. Um, right, so, yeah. To completely max out our health would probably be a really good idea. So, increases power. Uh, Give some more to Vase because he is our main damage dealer. I suppose we can give some to Fina as well because Fina is really weak. Like, ridiculously weak. Uh, let's just spend the rest of our money on health seeds. Why not? I don't know how many. Oh, we can. Oh, we can actually buy quite a few. Cool. All right then. Uh. Oh. It takes a few moments for it to take effect. Four thousand gold for ten. Eh. All right. Well, apparently we don't have enough money for that. Four thousand gold for ten, and that's an instant heal for your party. We don't really need it though, and you can't use it in combat. You can only use it outside of combat. So yeah, that doesn't really seem to be that useful, to be honest. Okay. Let's start. Getting some of these seeds out. Now, I did look up a guide for the best way of um, using seeds, but there doesn't seem to be any kind of set in stone guide. Um, 
there's suggestions, but there's no real right or wrong way to distribute your seeds. So, yeah, I mean, we can max out everybody's health. There's no point max out Gilda, because like I say, I don't think he's going to be part of the last fight. Uh, at least I'm, I don't think he will be anyway. Right. I thought we bought some other seeds. Nope, oh, maybe not. Still, that's okay. So three of us are maxed out with health. And we've still got some left over. See, I thought we could choose somebody else to be with us. Because obviously Gilda's got to go back to his ship. Ah. So it's time to confront Gaussian. I shall accompany you and the Delphinus. Gaussian must pay for destroying my homeland and killing my mother and Gregorio. Yeah, he's he really has done a number on you, hasn't he? I'm so happy that Prince Enrique came back safely. I don't know what would happen if something had happened to him. Well, we'd be carting around a very inexperienced third. That's what would be happening. Ismail promised me that he would build a stage for me to dance on, but he does not have enough money. Do you have more money? Ismail said it would take 500 gold to build. Uh, I'm very happy you offered, but you don't have enough money. Damn it! That's typical. Now we're a peasant. <laughs> Alright, let's go... Let's go raise enough money so she can have her stage. It's the least we could do, I suppose. <coughs> yeah, I never realised there was a hard limit, actually, on the amount of... Um, let's buy and sell. The amount of health we could have. Really interesting. Right, let's sell these rays. Sure. Uh, Viddle seeds. No, we'll hold on to the seeds. Uh, healing salve. That just regenerates health. Mm -hmm. Silver arm. I mean, I can't see us actually like ever using that. So, we'll sell that. We don't really need much of this. But it's not really worth selling. Uh, I guess we could just sell these bore up kits and stuff. Sure, why not? We're not really going to use this stuff like ever. So, sure. Soundproofing. Dude. Some of that stuff was worth a small fortune. But hey, there we go. There's our money back. Um, let's buy a couple more Viddle Seeds. Uh, actually, you know what? That's fine. We've got, we'll be fine. Uh, let's talk to him. 4,000 gold for 10 of them. Uh, I mean, sure. Remember, you won't be able to use them during battle, so be careful, okay? Fine. Yeah, now we... He's literally made off like a bandit. He said he wanted to help people, even poor people. But he's made nearly two million gold off us. He's probably the richest person alive. Luckily, we can grind that money out um, fairly easily if we had the time to do so. Right, I feel bad. Promise me to build me a stage. Tell you what, there's your gold. Really? You'll pay for the new stage? Thank you. I'll tell Uzmil right now. Yeah, no worries. I lost everything that was dear to me. I lost it all in the Dark Rift. Uh, yeah, we know that. A lot of the ingredients I normally use in Yefotoma are really hard to get over here. I wanted everybody to get a taste of Yefotoma food. But the ingredients are so expensive, it will take at least a thousand gold. There you go. A thousand gold. Are you sure about this? Sure. Don't worry about it. But you better make some really good food. Thank you very much. I'll get started right away. 
Hey, something happened to the yellow moon. It rained moonstones on Valua. Then there were some explosions. I wanted to put my past behind me, but I'm worried about the Valians. They're not all bad, you know. Well, that's the same with any nation. It's nice to take a break from cooking and eat some of Wulu's food. It's great. There we go. Some more, up well, another upgrade paid for. Okay. Yeah, 500 gold to keep my crew happy. That's a small price to pay. Well, actually, 1500 if you include the good food. But again, small price to pay. Okay, let's go. I guess we'll drop a save here. Back when we had loads of money. Let's go to the ship. And prepare for glorious combat. The skies are clear and we've got the wind behind us. Considering we're about to enter battle over the fate of the world, the weather is pretty good. Hurry up and give us the command to attack. My men are getting restless. <laughs> At least he's got some fight in him. This is the longest they've gone without attacking someone and they're getting jumpy. Baze the Primrose awaits your commands. We're ready to fight. And take good care of Gilda. The Albatross 2 is ready when you are, son. Captain Vase, we're ready for some action. We've got a personal score to set with the Armada. That is a cool looking ship. Captain Gilda, we'll take care of the Claudia. While she's gone, we'll try and get her back to you in one piece. And <laughs> the Ironclad isn't much of a warship, but it's the most maneuverable ship in the fleet. We're also hoping they underestimate us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that thing looks like it's going to fall apart. Don't worry about a thing, Baze. The Tenku and the rest of the Youth 2 and Navy are right behind you. This is going to be good. Boy, let's get moving. The Harpoon Cannon is ready for action. Yep, the little jack certainly can punch above its weight. Baze, the Delphinus is ready when you are. Onward to victory, or let's make history. This day will always be remembered. It's how it's remembered is up to us. Right here, right now, let's make history. That's quite a fleet of 2D ships. That is quite a hell of a fleet, actually. And there's the Hydra. Rather intimidating looking battle platform. Sky Fortress. My first stop is Nassar. Since we've already destroyed Nasrad, they'll beg for mercy, especially after what we did to Valua. My lord, shall I accompany you? It is not necessary. If any countries resist, I shall destroy them with the rains. I need you here to defend Sol uh, Soltis and to command Zelios to rain down on our enemies. A wise decision. My lord, an unknown fleet of ships is headed this way at attack speed. I can't identify the fleet, but leading the charge is the Delphinus. <sighs> So, the air pirates have come to challenge me. It saves me the trouble of hunting them down. I shall purge the skies of their kind forever. Lord Gaussian, perhaps I should go as well. No, we cannot lose Soltis. Return at once. It's like a lost puppy. Do not worry, the Hydra will dispose of them. Air pirates, it will rain today indeed. The skies shall weep with your blood. All ships, full speed ahead. Destroy the air pirates. Destroy every last one of them. That is quite the battleship. The 
The Armada is closing fast. Alright, battle stations. This is it. God, this could be so epic if it was remade. Here we go. Ah, oh, what's that? I mean, come on. Give me this little pathetic thing, a little appetizer. Alright, well, X cannon, X cannon. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? A couple of blasts. Well, one blast, and that thing's done. First kill to the Delphinus. Barely worth our time. We want some bigger fish to fry. We've broken their front line, but reinforcements are closing in fast. Gaussian, I'm coming for you. Let's go. Ooh, what's that? That looks juicier. That looks pretty cool. Gaussian's elite vessel, infidels, will not let you get past here. You'll get no closer to Lord Gaussian. All hands to battle stations. Do whatever you have to, just make sure they don't get past us. That's a very cool looking ship, but sadly, it's going to be going down in flames. Alright, you can take a round or two, that's fine. We've got plenty in the tank. Plenty in the tank. It's holding. Just very cool looking ship though. Serpent oh god. Scratch the paintwork. Get those torpedoes in the air. <laughs> Rapid cannon does nothing. Ooh, that stings. Finish him off with the next volley. Tiny little chip of our health. Right, we've got the advantage there. They're finished. Um, I mean, I guess we can go for a complete kit if we need it. Which, well, I don't think we're going to need it, but it would be nice to go into the next fight with full health. Two kills to the Delphinus. Somewhat decent amount of uh, XP. And Fina is getting like zero buffs uh, whatsoever. My lord, the air pirates have broken our lines. The Delphinus is headed straight for us. <laughs> well done, Vase. You shall live just long enough to feel the destructive power of the Hydra. All cannons, fire on the Delphinus. There's an enemy ship ahead. It's huge. No, it can't be. Enrique, you know this ship? It's called the Hydra. It was dubbed the Flying Fortress. Gaussian must have had his own men complete it. My mother wanted its production stopped because of its magnitude. Why? Wasn't it big enough? Gaussian must be in there. This battle won't be over until we destroy that thing. Alright, Gaussian. It ends now. Well, that's a juicy thing. Definitely going to burn in a spectacular display. It's finally time to face Gaussian. Alright, everyone. I'm counting on all of you. Alright, this could get a little bit rough. Let's pop the cannons. Actually, let's hit it with some cannon fire. But... Hmm. Let's get our attack buffed. And you know what? Ships HP to full. 
Uh, double all of your spirit points. Do that. Sure. Let's see. Steady as we go. It's going to be interesting. Definitely going to need to bring the moonstone to bear here, I think. Okay, okay. Not bad. Luckily, I would wager we're ex cannon lost. Really? It's a stationary target and you lost. Okay. That's going to be both of our shots lost then. Hydra Ray. Right, so we can use the Moonstone Cannon here. And possibly get some more cannons going. And then let's hit up with a complete kit right at the end. Let's see how much damage Moonstone does. We're not holding back. Oof. Yeah, she's a tough cookie. Evasive action. I don't think that thing can evade. It doesn't really seem to move. That's okay. We've got these complete kits. Alright, okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. Ooh, that wasn't quite a good hit. But we've certainly done about half damage to it now, anyway. Which is better than we... Well, better than I was hoping. I thought it would be a little rough. Right, so we're going to take a hit pretty much straight away. So, let's just guard. Hit it up with a couple of cannon shots. And then guard again. See what happens. Hydra launcher. Uh, some kind of rocket launcher, I think, or some sort of grenade launcher. Well, this must be starting to get a little bit uh, sparky in that place. Definitely no catastrophic damage yet, but it's got to be getting a, a little bit shaky, a little bit breaky. A few sparks flying few blown terminals. Some rivets rolling around on the floor in there. That's it. Keep moving. Alright, attack the upper part. Or should we go for the enemy's hull? Let's... Go for the enemy's hull, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, I'm going to say go for the enemy's hull. Right, so that is the correct thing to say. Alright, let's pummel it in the guts. Uh, we've got plenty. I I think what we'll do, we'll hit it again with the Arc Whale Torpedo, on the s and we'll get that to land on the same turn the Moonstone hits, and we will rebuff with the Wax. Oh man, that hurt. That really hurt. So yeah, hitting it in the holes where to do the damage, which makes sense. Looks way less protected down here.
Oh yeah. Definitely starting to get a bit dodgy in there now. Let's get those torps nice and high. Wax on, wax off. Ooh, nasty little shot to the back of the ship there. Ooh, what have we got down here? Can't be too much. like it's got some kind of cannon of its own. Look, the ship's hull fell away and there's a giant cannon coming out. Uh-oh, looks like Gaussian's getting serious now. Alright everyone, it's now or never. Yeah, uh, let's hit it with the Moonstone Cannon. And then hit it with the X Cannon, X Cannon, and that looks like where we're going to get hit. So pop a complete kit. Probably could have made, but we'll go for the complete kit. And we're buffed as well, so this should do extra damage. Oof, there's not a lot left of him now. I think we're actually going to miss these cannon shots. I think we are. Yeah, that hurts. Uh, maybe not. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's what we like to see. Oh man, like literally that thing's holding together by a thread. Nice. So let's see what his ultimate gun can do. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? How much? Alright. Okay, that was very underwhelming. Very underwhelming. Um Alright, finish it off with the X cannon. Give it everything we have. Looks like he's speeding off. The enemy ship has been severely damaged and it's trying to flee from battle. Gaussian's trying to run away. We can't let him escape. We've got to go after him. Okay. Was expecting a little bit more, but sure. Captain Stripe, moon cannon. And a moon torpedo. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I give up. How is that thing still flying? Face, they're getting away. Alright, looks like we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Alright, everyone, prepare to board the Hydra. We're going to go fight Gaussian face-to-face. -face. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> that tiny little assault craft. Oh, man. <laughs> That's nuts. Hopefully there was a seatbelt involved there somewhere. <laughs> but I got my doubts. So who... Oh, we've still got Gilda. Really? Okay. Not that I have anything against Gilda, but... He really is kind of dragging the percentages down. Alright, well, 
Let's... So you can't change the Moonstone. Can him. Um, let's go for the Moon Torpedo, though. Yeah. A main cannon that uses both Moonstone energy and gunpowder powder to fight. What about the Moon Torpedo? Whoa! A torpedo that uses Moonstone energy to keep spirit consumption low. Holy crap. That really does keep... Uh, keep spirit consumption low. Definitely better than the Arc World Torpedo. Uh, so these 5 inch guns made of a special alloy uh, alloy? alloy for added durability has purple properties and great firepower yeah alright so and that's the moon cannon which is better Okay, so we've got Moon Cannon, X Cannon, Moon Torpedo, Crystal Cannon. So the Crystal Cannon is actually the most powerful cannon we have. Look at the spirit consumption though. Like nothing. Shame we don't have a couple of those. Right, let's fix the uh, ship up. Um... I wonder, actually... Uh, let's get everybody healed. Like so. Uh, now, does that actually fix the ship? It doesn't, but that's fine. And we got a captain stripe as well, which we should have used before we fixed the ship. But we're just not that smart. So, 60,000 HP on the Delphinus now. Right, anyway guys, I'm going to leave it here. Apparently, this fight, uh, or this battle here, can take over an hour to get to the target, according to my guide. <laughs> but we shall see. We shall indeed see. I'm not going to save it there. We'll save it there. So when we come back, we're going to keep pressing forwards. I am curious as to why we... Oh, change crew. No, yeah, we can change crew, but we can't change crew. Uh, so the only one that's left to get on here is you. And we can't get him just yet. So when we come back, guys, we're going to push into the second to last dungeon of the game. So till then, thanks for watching.